Hey guys, this is Paul from Paul's Predatory Fish. Just wanted to remind you that if you like this kind of content, fish stuff, picking up fish, builds, DIY projects, stuff like that, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And make sure to hit that notification bell, guys, so that way you'll know when a new video drops. All right, guys, let's get into it. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little fish picking up, fish dropping off per usual. That's just something we do here at Paul's Predatory Fish. We're always getting new fish. We're always getting rid of fish. That's just how it goes. But uh, today I picked up a peacock bass. I picked one up two weeks ago, I wanna say. It was a 24 karat gold peacock bass, beautiful fish. And um, we picked up another one today. So same guy was selling them. He had, I believe six originally and he got rid of them all over time. I picked up two, he sold the rest to somebody else. So I'm gonna roll the footage for that and I'll show you uh, when we picked him up and introduced him to the tank. He's downstairs in the 180 Peacock Bass Grow Out Tank with all the other bass. But we are gonna be upgrading those bass to something bigger soon. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, let me show you the introduction of that second 24 karat Peacock Bass. Check out this guys, a little Leparanus fasciitis or fasciatus. I'm going to be rehoming this today. He's about three inches. These guys are notorious for uh, being aggressive. They can go for eyes, fins, fin and eye nippers, but they are really cool fish. They get really big. They're um, a predatory fish that most people underestimate their size and their aggression. Check it out guys, we just got back. 24K looking very beautiful. This is a smaller one compared to the last one. He's probably an inch and a half to two inches smaller than the last one. Less coloration as well, spotting, but still a very beautiful fish. Let's get him inside. We're gonna show you that new bass. Turn the portable air off, get the lid off. Beautiful fish. I wanna see if I can show you guys. Nice pattern, not as prominent in spotting as the last bass, but beautiful, all the same. The 180 is a little messy. I just fed them a bunch of krill. I'm actually out of tilapia at the moment. I gotta pick some up later today, but I'm trying to get them more or less preoccupied so that way I can drop this new bass in. He's in here, I'll show you him in a sec. But I'm gonna drop some more krill in here, get them you know, focused on food, and then I'm gonna throw the bass on this side while they're focused on this side. All right, so I'm gonna feed them a little more krill here. As you can see, they love it. So I'm going to turn the lights off and let him settle in and then I'll show you him a little bit later. I'm going to do some water changes later tonight. All right, guys, so it's been about two days now since I introduced that second 24 karat peacock bass. There he is right there. As you can see, he fits in really well with all the other bass. Most bass tend to do better in uh, larger numbers, I've noticed. They'll tend to school and buddy up, pair up, but there's the original 24 mono new 24 
either an Ocellaris or a Mono Ocellaris, Intermedia, and then I've got an Azul and an Azul. All looking beautiful. Big plans for these guys as well. We're gonna be updating them to a new tank. Uh, it's, I'm not sure what tank I'm gonna be putting them in yet. It's definitely gonna be an upgrade for them, but I have two options I'm playing around with, so we'll see how it goes. But look at them go, guys. Back and forth, back and forth. Beautiful. They're definitely maxing out this grow out tank. Got to get a move soon, guys. So something else that I wanted to mention to you guys real quick, my good friend from uh, college, I haven't seen him in a long, long time. He hit me up about a month or so ago. He brought me some fish then, and he ended up messaging me the other day, brought me some more gorgeous fish. Dropped off two Azul Bass, or an Azul Bass and an Exingu Bass. We are not entirely sure. I'm going to play the footage so you guys can take a look, and you can drop a comment down below and tell me what you think they are. But dropped off two bass, and we've got, uh, he dropped off a huge, really, really bright red Oscar, which we ended up throwing upstairs into the 265-gallon tank in the living room. So I'm going to show you guys footage of that. And he dropped off a Vieja Hybrid cichlid and we're not entirely too sure what kind of vieja it is so again leave a comment down below if you think you know what it might be we have some ideas to what we think it might be but we're not 100 percent sure so again let us know what you think down below and i'll play all the clips of the fish as we got them now something i was worried about introducing another oscar to my 265 gallon tank Inside there is a huge Tomensis peacock bass, and he's been notoriously beating up any cichlid I throw in there. I had a red-tailed giant garami in there, beat it up. He beat up um, smaller bass. He beat up, uh, what, did, what else did he beat up? Um, I believe it was a gold pantano. He's beaten up a few different fish, so they've all been moved out since. But introducing this Oscar, I was terrified that this, this Tomensis was going to just freak out, beat up that Oscar, or, or vice versa, the Oscar attacked the Tomensis, but didn't happen. Everybody is coexisting just fine, getting along with no issues, which is all I can ask for. That's fantastic, but that just shows you fish raised right. So thanks again, Tyler, and I'll roll the clips. I'll show each one of them. This is the Vieja. Oh, you weren't kidding with the forehead. Yeah, he's got wow. a mean hump anymore. That is gorgeous. He's got a mean hump. Throw him right in. A little clappy from that water change. I think you're right, Joe. I think it is an Azul and Xingu. I don't know, that's what they're labeled as. It's hard to tell with the stress. They always fade out, but... Yeah, you'll have to check them in an hour or so. There's a the little guy. That's definitely an Xingu. Or is this the Azul? I don't know. I have no idea. He was labeled as the Azul, but they mess up sometimes, you know? All right. Thanks, dude. My buddy Tyler dropped off some really awesome bass, kind of hard to see. The glass is a little foggy. The reflection doesn't help, but look at those guys. Both beautiful. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to ring that notification bell as well so you can get updates whenever I drop a new video. Alrighty guys, take care.